Proposal to expand state funding of preschool programs missed an important deadline at the Montana Legislature. As KPAC's Jonathan Amberian reports, some form of funding could still be amended into the budget, though, before the session wraps up. The future of public funding for preschool in Montana is now uncertain after a major proposal to increase the state's contribution failed in a House committee last week. House Bill 755, sponsored by Republican Representative Eric Moore of Miles City, would have provided $11 million for public, private, and Head Start preschool programs. It would also have created a cabinet-level director of early childhood. On Wednesday, immediately after the bill had its first hearing, seven Republicans and two Democrats on the House Education Committee voted it down. HB 755 was far different from Governor Steve Bullock's original plan to fund preschool, but he supported it as a path to make preschool funding permanent. Representative Moore's bill was a good faith effort to try to say, how do we do this in the best way for our state, but most importantly for the kids that will be entering into our school system when they turn five years old. So it is really unfortunate that uh, that bill was tabled in the House Education Committee. HB 755 had drawn opposition from public education advocates like the Montana School Boards Association and the Montana Federation of Public Employees. And I think the legislature has noted that this is the public education community opposed to this very bad idea. Uh, and I believe that has made all the difference right now in where we are. The groups criticized the inclusion of funding for private providers. MFP President Eric Fever said their stance had been mischaracterized as opposition to preschool. We favor pre-K education, we just are not in favor of privatizing it. HB 755 failed to pass the House by a Monday deadline, so it is likely dead. But some form of preschool funding could still be amended into the budget before the end of the legislative session. In 2017, a late negotiation led to the creation of the STARS Preschool Pilot Program, which provided some state funding for preschool. Bullock said he hopes lawmakers will look at the results of that program. Where they've seen what a difference it makes. So, certainly hopeful that um, we don't take steps back from where we were last time. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. School officials have said that without that state funding, they'll probably have to reduce or greatly reduce or eliminate preschool offerings altogether.